Top five peptides for muscle gain, worst to best. Number five is ibutamorin or MK677. Reason why we don't like it is that it can significantly raise your prolactin, and it also will cause a lot of people to gain a lot of fat, and it has a very long half-life and can cause some side effects. Number four, Samoralin. Reason why we don't like it, it has a very short half-life, and it can cause people to be very, very, very hungry, and a lot of people get what's called tachyphylaxis, or the peptide does not work. Number three, hexarelin. Very potent. I actually really love this peptide. However, it only lasts or is effective for up to 10 to 12 weeks, and it can cause some side effects like sleepiness and sometimes a little fluid retention. Number two, testimorelin. Very great effective peptide. One of the few peptides that is effective and FDA approved for uh, lipomuscle dystrophy, which is basically a uh, fat around the visceral organs, and to make it where you can significantly gain muscle and not lose a lot of fat, do a low dose, inject it five out of the seven nights a week, very good peptide. Number one, my personal favorite, and it's great clinically effectively, number one is IGF-1 LR3. Highly anabolic. Um, it works where it's produced, helps the liver produce more IGF-1 and transports it directly to your peripheral tissues. Best way to do it is to take it uh, immediately after you work out, eat some protein and a little tiny bit of carbohydrates, and it significantly improves your nitro nitrogen oxide and protein synthesis. For any personalized advice, feel free to reach out to us. Our goal is to help you look better, feel better, and perform better. Get started today.